How hard do you need to be pushing on metabolic training days? They are, in essence, sprints, interval sprints. So in this case, we need to be going uh, on a rate of perceived exertion anywhere between 7 and 10. I think on my example that I'm showing on the screen, uh, it's probably a 10 for me because right towards the end, my pace seems to drop off. So how does this all fit together? So 20 seconds on, a minute rest, 20 seconds on, a minute rest, another 20 seconds on, and you rest for five minutes and repeat this cycle three times. So the desired training effect is brought on by the fact that you need to give your all every time you get on the bike or rower, all out sprinting. So what you want to do is set a benchmark distance and try and achieve that during each 20 minute cycle. So um, I'm overusing the word cycle here, but for each 20 minute sprint, you should try and achieve the same distance. Um, that doesn't mean pacing yourself because you need to throw that word out the window. This is an all out sprint. You go on health leather as fast as you can, but at the same time, you can get a benchmark of uh, how hard you're pushing by the distance that you achieve. So, um, there it is really, that's uh, the idea behind the metabolic training. As you increase the intensity level, we can, uh, we can do things during the rest periods. So we can do body weight exercises or we can use weights um, to facilitate an even further, uh, greater disturbance with our metabolic training. But this is just level one and here I've shown this video just to show you how hard you really need to push on these days. They are, ver they are very short in duration, but by God they're difficult. There are two metabolic days each week, and here I've shown the cycling just because it looks a little bit faster and more impressive than the rowing, but we can use uh, either rowing, cycling, or optimally uh, we want to be doing working towards sprinting. We will get to that on another day.